Hey people, Gotti Edelman here with another out of the box video. But before we get started, I want to share something I figured out. If you're having a problem keeping people six feet away, this social distancing thing, I think I got it figured out. For some reason, if I go out wearing this mask, I don't have to worry about avoiding people. They avoid me. It, it just seems to happen automatically. So I just thought I'd share that little PSA with you. If you're going to go outside and you have a scarf like this at home, wrap it around your head and I guarantee you, you won't have to worry about keeping people six feet away. With that, I'm going to move the camera around and we'll get started with this out of the box. Okay, this is definitely a little bit better now. Got the hat on and uh, you know who I am. Okay, so what are we doing today? We are doing the Crossbreed Reckoning System holster. And it's called the system because you can get this two different ways. You can get it with or without the magazine holder. This is the system. It's the complete system. You can go to crossbreedholsters.com. It's $89.95. This is, everything is adjustable on this. But there's a reason that I went and got this holster. For those of you that watch my videos, you may remember, and let me just pull this out first of all, clear it for the camera. You may remember that I had reviewed the Super Tuck back on October 25th of last year. I did a video and an article on this inside the waistband crossbreed holster called the Super Tuck. I fell in love with it. I, this is my carry, everyday carry holster. Well, I got a lot of emails and a lot of comments under that video and the article as well from many different people who said that the holster is fine except for one drawback according to those people. And that one drawback was this Kydex and leather holster has no retention whatsoever. Now I happen to disagree with that. Like I said, I use this daily. I've never had a problem with it. Um, I don't know how many people do backflips while they're carrying, but as long as your belt is coming across here, and obviously you're gonna adjust the belt so that it's comfortable. I've never had a problem with this falling out, and that includes while jogging. So if I'm running or what have you, daily activities, I don't have an issue. But for those people who were saying that they needed to have that retention, the Reckoning holster, and like I said, this is the system, comes with the magazine holder, the whole system is adjustable with just an Allen wrench. Now it comes with an Allen wrench. I prefer utilizing this one. It's a little bit larger and I can get in there. But I want to show you here on the camera, right there, that Allen screw will tighten or loosen not only just the Kydex portion of this holster, but there's also one for the magazine. So for those of you that want to do backflips while you're carrying, once that's in there, it's not going anywhere. I don't care how much you shake it. I don't care how many backflips you do. I don't care how much running you do. You can tighten and or loosen to the way you find it comfortable to draw that weapon so that it's not going to go anywhere. Now, there are pros and cons between the two. I still prefer the Super Tuck because as I said, I had no problems with the retention. But for those who want the retention, let me give you the pros and cons. First of all, yes, this is adjustable. You can adjust the cant just like you can on the Super Tuck. So I can wear it tilted. I can wear it straight. I can do cross draw, what have you. This one, you'll notice, although it is smaller, and I like the fact that it's smaller, especially if I'm going to wear it without the magazine, it is a lot smaller. Many people saw this like me, even I thought this was going to be uncomfortable because of its size. But as you can see, it's taken on my shape. I don't even feel that I'm wearing this one. This one, by itself or with the extension, with the magazine, I find it to be a little bit more where it digs in on me because there's less area going around my waist. So it tends to actually dig in. 
Now that's me, that has to do with my size. Not everybody is gonna find that. Many people may find this one a lot more comfortable. What I do like about this one is this is detachable and then I've got a very small, very small holster. Now, some of the changes that you'll see, some of the differences I should say, is the size of the belt clips. Your Reckoning has a much smaller belt clip, but it's still made the same way. It's got the adjustable cant steel clips. It's got the leather back, which is good thick leather, something you're only gonna find here really with the Crossbreed. Every one of the holsters I've looked at from Crossbreed, the leather is amazing. It's got the Kydex shell, and, like I said, this one has the retention screws. Now, you can purchase just the holster by itself at crossbreedholsters.com, and that'll run you $69.95 instead of the whole system for $89.95. If you want to give it a shot, you want to try just the holster, and you're happy with it, you can then go ahead and buy this separately, or you can just get the whole system together for $89.95. But, nonetheless, as I said, I still prefer my original one. Now, any of the holsters at crossbreedholsters.com is going to come in your choice of colors, both the leather as well as the Kydex shell. So you got to go onto the website and really check it out. But this is not going anywhere, people. I've got, and this is a full magazine, by the way. So this is a fully set up magazine with the weapon. That's not going anywhere. Yes, I'm putting my hand out just in case, but it's not going anywhere. I found it to be the same with the Super Tuck. Because of the retention mechanism in here, it does tend to be a little bit thicker as far as how far it's going to stick out from the leather. Obviously, because you've got this mechanism here that you don't have with this one. So, with this one, that Kydex shell is directly up against your body. And I find it's easier, again, for someone with my size and profile to conceal this... Whereas here I'm adding, I don't know, a quarter or a half inch. It does stick out a little bit more. Um, it's, it's really, you know, pros and cons. It's really a personal choice as to whether you want to go ahead and really, if you are in need for whatever reason, of that retention screw. And like I said, it's on both. If you really need that retention screw, then you want to go with the Reckoning. If you want to go with their most popular, and I believe at the time I got this one, this was their most popular holster, it probably still is, go with the Super Tuck. Don't let the size fool you. This is super comfortable as that leather is going to shape to the way you wear it and where you wear it. So, you know, whichever you prefer, get it in different colors. Go to crossbreedholsters.com. I'm telling you people, I have a closet full of holsters. I have tried so many different holsters and I keep coming back to the crossbreed. So they're not paying me for this. Um, I didn't get any, you know, kickback on this. This is just a personal thing. I have tried and tried and tried with all my different handguns to find a comfortable holster for somebody that's got a smaller waist, a smaller build, to be able to conceal that weapon. And I keep coming back for comfort, durability. Crossbreed is the way to go in my book. So until next time, I got your six and we'll see you at the range.